there welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review and today's not really a review per se but more like an update or an announcement I mentioned in a previous video that I'd been contacted by the owner of Leonardo pens and the designer of the Memento Zero Mr. Salvatore Matrone after seeing my frustrations with the two nibs I purchased for my Memento Zero Blue Hawaii Salvatore kindly offered to replace the nibs with the new Yovo versions Leonardo has announced publicly that they are replacing their nib supplier Bach with Yovo and he was interested in having me make a video comparing the old nibs to the new those replacement nibs have arrived and I've played around with them a bit the results are very interesting Salvatore also had a bit of a surprise in the box for me as well so let's see those new nibs and find out what the surprise is right now <music> So first of all I should show you the unboxing I was expecting a small box with two nibs in it what I got was a big box with a little box inside watch this so I think I've mentioned before that Salvatore Matrone of Leonardo Officina Italiana uh, contacted me and mentioned that they were switching from Bach nibs to uh, Yovo nibs and wanted to replace the uh, two Bach nibs that I had difficulty with with the Yovo version and uh, wanted me to uh, do a video comparing the two so I'm going to do that and the package just arrived but looking at the size of this box I don't think that this is just two nibs so we're going to open it up and see this is too big to fills up the screen here I hardly know where to start well a whole box full of a box oh he's got one for my furore and oh, okay so he's because they have moved to Yovo this is going to be a different nib color assembly and I was speculating on this that that Yovo nib uh, will actually have a different collar assembly to screw in and out of that section so they had to remake the section I believe and so that's why he sent the section for my furore and for my momento zero and then I'll compare the two but I suspect this box is not just housing two nibs lift this up so you can see this is a Ferrari Grande they announced the Ferrari Grande also oh, he's sent me a Ferrari Grande for evaluation I am so excited I am one of the first to see this there is nothing wrong with your television set do not attempt to adjust the picture we are controlling transmission we can roll the image, make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. You are about to participate in a great adventure. Wait for it! I can't tell you how much my heart leapt into my throat when I opened the Furore Grande Pistore in Verde Smeraldo. Mr. Matrone has provided this pen to me for review and I'll do a full review when I get my Ferrari salt back from the shop where Jack is working on it I will however do a first looks video tomorrow where I'll show the pen as this is one of the very first Ferrari Grande models out of the barn although given this serial number of 4402 I don't believe it will be the last and I'll ink it up and write with it a bit but I'll leave a full review until I've had some time with the pen and able to do an AB comparison with the smaller Ferrari it's hard to believe the Ferrari is now considered the small one but this is a big pen but anywho on with the nib comparison so this is a little bit of a supplement here uh, inserted into this video 
because I completed the video and then got an answer from Salvatore by email to a number of questions I asked. Here are the questions I asked. Are all models going to get Yovo nibs? It's a clean sweep, gold and steel. And his answer is, from January 2021, we will assemble the Yovo steel nibs on the regular collections. We will no longer have the 250 number six millimeter model box. Then I asked, the nib and feed assemblies are incompatible, but can a Yovo nib be friction fit on a Leonardo with a Bach nib? His answer is, that's right, Bach and Yovo had different collars. So I sent two different sections. It's not possible to mount the new Yovo nibs on the old pens you have to change the whole section. But Yovo nibs are suitable for Leonardo pens. But I repeat, the collar is different and the section is different than the box. Then I asked, do all the new Ferrore Grande pens have ebonite feeds? And his answer is, all Ferrore Grande and Momento Zero Grande pens have the ebonite feed produced in our workshops. So there's some updated information for you. Thanks, Salvatore. Salvatore sent me the new Yovo nibs in a small box and the nibs are housed in new sections for both my Ferrari Salt and my Momento Zero Blue Hawaii because the nib units from the Yovo are incompatible with the box units. There will be a lot of nibs to keep straight here so let me get them lined up in order so we're clear which goes where. So I bought my Momento Zero Blue Hawaii first from Applebaum. It had a medium steel nib installed and I purchased a second steel broad nib as a spare. They are Bach nibs. Both of the nibs, both the medium installed in the pen and the broad that came separately, refused to write correctly out of the box. Here is a short clip of the frustrations I had with these two nibs. So here is the medium. Let's see how it does. Well, this one's skipping as well. So right out of the box, I'm not impressed. Very, very dry. So um, both nibs, they write about the same. The broad was worse than the medium, but both exhibited baby's bottom and misalignment issues. I contacted Yoast Applebaum about my frustrations and asked if I could work on the nibs myself to get them writing without losing the option to return them both for replacement. He was more than helpful and supported me 100%. That is when I met my new nib guru, Jack Hernandez. I met Jack and gave him both these nibs, asking him to grind an architect italic out of the broad and simply tune the medium to make it right. He did glorious work on both. This architect's italic is truly amazing. So beautiful job. And this nib has become one of my favorites. As an aside here, it's amazing to me how your attitude towards a pen changes so drastically, depending on how the nib lays down ink on paper. I was so disappointed in the nibs on this Momento Zero that I didn't even want to look at this pen. Once the custom ground nib was in the pen, I couldn't keep my hands off it. And then the amazing acrylic looked even more amazing in my eye. Now there's a visceral response for you. Then came the Ferrari. This time I ordered a 1.1 millimeter steel stub, also a Bach. Even though I ticked the box for the nib to be tuned before it left Alpabon, the nib was disappointing out of the box. Jack has that pen right now. So Salvatore has provided me with both a broad and a 1.1 stub. The stub for the Ferrore and the broad for the Momento Zero. Since I don't have the Ferrore with me, I'm going to use the Momento Zero since both sections fit both pens. So lined up here, we have three sections with three nibs, one Bach and two Yovo. The Bach nib is the medium and the Yovo nibs are the 1.1 stub and the broad. So let's do a visual comparison first. The box are plain, save for the laser etched Leonardo and the Leonardo wings and the nib size marking. The Yovo nibs have some elaborate 
engraved filigree work, on top of which is the Leonardo laser engraved name, the wings, and the size marking. And it also says Italy in script. The stock Yovo nib has these same filigree engravings. So these are stock Yovo nibs with Leonardo's brand uh, laser etched on them. The Furore Grande came with some Leonardo ink in a beautiful azure blue. So I'm going to use that for some writing samples. So let's switch to camera two. I'm just moving my iPhone from here to there. Okay, our nibs are lined up, ready to compare. I can only do a head-to-head -head with the medium Bach versus the broad Yovo at this point. I will try the 1.1 stub, but as I said, the Furore is up on the hoist. Just to be clear here, we aren't comparing apples to apples. We are comparing oranges to oranges. Neither of these nibs are what I'd consider stock out of the box. The Bach was tuned to write beautifully and to my taste by an expert. This new Yovo will have been tuned carefully by Salvatore and his staff. It would be lunacy to send an unchecked, untuned nib to me for comparison on an internet YouTube channel. But at least we're not comparing lemons to oranges. The Bach was a lemon, but Jack made it a sweet orange. So here we go. I'm going to stop and prime the feeds on each one of these as I go, uh, because under these lights, these nibs are going to dry out without any caps on them. So this is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper. And this is the Leonardo Officina. Italiana Momento Zero and it has a medium steel Bach nib which was tuned by Jack Hernandez It is plenty wet and has a nice amount of feedback. So you can probably hear that. He put that feedback into that nib because it's very satisfying on the page. And here's a little trick. Jack taught me. No pressure on that at all. Just lay it on the page and draw a line down and it should write. And it does. And of course I mentioned this is Leonardo blue ink. Here is the swatch for that alongside Robert Oster Bondi blue and a Roshizuku Kanpeki. I think these are good matches because each one of these has a reddish pinkish sheen to it the Robert Oster and the Konpeki and now that I'm writing with this and looking in the light I'm seeing a wonderful red sheen on the Leonardo as well in line variation no pressure has a little bit but it's steel and you don't expect much but there's a little bit of bounce there and reverse it does okay and fast And now for the Yovo. Okay, so I've swapped nibs. This is now the Yovo. And this is still 
Leonardo, Afatina, Italiana, Mento Zero. And this is a broad steel. Yovo nib. And of course this nib was tuned by Leonardo. This is very wet. And very, very smooth. This is like glass. And you can see that it writes no issues at all, no pressure. probably not hear that at all on the, on the upstrokes or the downstrokes and line variation there's no pressure at all there's a little bit of pressure it has just a slight bit of bounce and almost no feedback In reverse writing, there's more feedback there, but it actually writes. In fast writing, plenty wet. That feed keeps up beautifully so let's also try out the 1.1 stub even though i don't have the bach version of that the box stub 2 was a problem right out of the box stubs are interesting things there's no tipping material on them just cut steel how the square edges are rounded determines whether the pen will create a crisp sharp edged line or a fuzzier edged line a sharp edged line also catches paper and feels very scratchy but a rounded edge on the stub will be very smooth but imprecise so it's a range of preferences from crisp and scratchy to smooth and fuzzy my calligraphy pen gifted to me by my kids last christmas has an extremely smooth rounded 1.5 millimeter stub which can give a very imprecise line at times so let's try the yovo stub so here we have franken pen <laughs> This is again the Leonardo Officina Italiana and Mento Zero. And this is a one point one millimeter. Steel Yovo stub. This is really wet. And let's try the drawdown test here. No problems at all.
so you can probably hear that the horizontal strokes of course being a stub are thin the vertical strokes are thick and you can hear they're fairly smooth and that's got a lot of feedback it's not scratchy what you're hearing if I stop talking feels more like a an HB pencil on vellum as I draw from my architect drafting days it is not unpleasant although I might want to knock off some of that feedback just a touch a few strokes on some 12,000 grit micro mesh would do it not much line variation of course you're not going to push a stub you're already getting line variation out of that stub just like that and fast writing yeah no problems whatsoever so what can we conclude from this comparison test well they are all different fields of course one's a medium one's a broad and one's a stub uh, they all write well they've all been tuned if this is how Yovo nibs will come out of the Naples factory every Leonardo lover should be pleased I must say I don't believe I've ever felt a steel nib as smooth as this broad Yovo uh, steel nib uh, and that includes nibs that are tuned very very well in fact this nib feels so glassy it feels just like the Visconti homo sapiens that I just reviewed this is Sean's Visconti homo sapiens and it is a broad nib And you can see how how broad and wet that is and compared to the Leonardo Yovo not quite as a thick a line but certainly as wet and very 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 glassy smooth you may recall that this pen really messed up the writing sample during the video I think this pen was just being an Italian diva for the camera because it never wrote that bad before I hit the record button there's nothing else just us and the cameras and those wonderful people out there in the dark all right Mr. DeMille I'm ready for my close-up I took this pen to Jack and he did his magic on it and now it writes beautifully it actually had uh, a bit of baby's bottom that was causing the skipping and the tines were misaligned so he fixed all that for Sean and he gave it a touch of feedback the 23 karat palladium nib was so glassy I felt like it was going to take off on the page on me now it has just a hint but a very very wet gusher so there you go my thanks go out to Salvatore Matrone for not only providing me the inside information on his company's laudatory shift from Bach to Yovo in a very customer service responsive way but also providing me with these two nibs to keep for my two gorgeous Leonardo's stay tuned tomorrow for a first look at this brand new model from Leonardo the Leonardo Ferrore Grande Pistone generously provided by Mr. Matrone so if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote
this. 